calculating the output ripple factor for a full wave rectifier with an LC filter. So if you are to consider the LC filter, it depends with the connections that you'll be given uh, in terms of the capacitor. That is, if you are given this connection, like the one that we are having here, this is an L section. Remember, we can also have a connection which can form a pi, uh, like in the form of your connection, you'll be forming a pi like this. But in this case, this is forming an L. So you're considering an L section. So we are given this is a full wave, okay? With a frequency of 50 hertz connected to an SO filter with an inductor, we are given the inductance value. And uh, also we are given uh, the capacitance value, all right? Which are the ones that we have given on the uh, diagram. Calculate the output ripple factor. The output ripple factor. We do not have like anything to consider the DC. Is it any? We, there's nothing, guys, that we It's just inductance and capacitance that we are given. So, which formula can we use when it is like that? If you are to consider uh, on the formulas that I introduced previously, we saw that we can actually work with the calculations of. Uh, the ripple factor, if we do not have voltages, anything, we can work with this formula. There we need current, we also need the VDC. If we had to work with this one, we need all those, they are not even available. So this is going to be the best formula for us to, to use. But let's consider our formula there. All right, number one. So we're going to have our ripple factor, uh, depending some they use gamma like this, uh, you can use that is R like that. So at the output that is across the reset, I said you use the prime. So it's going to be R prime is equal to what? So you're supposed to have it um, from the ripple voltage over the DC voltage, but we do not have any of these. So we are left with a formula, which is stating that it's one over uh, six square root of two omega squared LC, like this. So that is the one that we're given here. All right, but I said omega is equal to what? Where omega is equal to 2 pi F. So you must be very, very careful with this part. But if you are to consider now, we need, if you are to work with this formula, this omega represents 2 pi F. And at a frequency of 50 hertz, we can have a special formula. Like I said before, this is the formula that you are using. Guys. This is the executive formula that you're using. But at 50 hertz, you can have a special formula that it can be given at 50 hertz, which is given as uh, 1, 1, 9, uh, 194 times 10 to the exponent of negative 6 over uh, LC. We can use this for this one. It's not to be used anyway at 50 hertz. So if you are someone who is going to work with that, it's up to you. But this is supposed to be the executive formula that you're supposed to have, uh, where omega in this case is given by what? By 2 pi f. So it means uh, using this, we are going to have 1 over uh, 6 uh, square root of 2 times in that case the omega which is 2 pi f so it's going to be 2 pi times the frequency uh, which is 50 in that case because uh, we have got the frequency of 50 hertz that's where we ended up with that special formula but this one it's not going to affect any frequency for any frequency whether the frequency is 50 it's 6 whatever frequency so that's why I want you to get used to this one times the inductance remember our L we've got the inductance that is 1,000 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3. And to the capacitance, in this case, which is 10 uh, microfarad, that is 10 times 10 to the exponent of uh, negative 6. That is what you're going to have. So approximately, we are going to have something like 0, 0.119, something like that, which is can be 0, 0.12, depending with the rounding off uh, of values that you are going to have. So the formulas, like I said, 
they can differ is because of the frequency that we are given here at what? At 50 hertz that we can use this formula uh, like this, 1,194 uh, times 10 to the exponent of negative 6 over uh, LC. It's a special formula that is only at what? At 50 hertz. Because in most cases, remember, your frequency is supposed to be what? At 50 hertz. So that's why we've got a special formula also. So you can also use this. That's 1,19 times 10 to the exponent of negative 6 over LC. Our inductance, in that case, that is uh, 1,000 times 10 to the exponent of uh, negative 3. And the capacitance, which is 10 microfarad, 10 times 10 to the exponent of negative 6. So you're going to obtain approximately 0, 0,119. That is for your ripple factor. All right, let's consider another question uh, that we are given still uh, from the same information. Uh, this time, no, it's no longer they're saying. This time, they gave us another part of information. Compare with a simple capacitor filter. Compare with a simple capacitor filter. A simple capacitor filter. That's what they're saying. Compare with a simple capacitor filter. When we are given the load resistance and this current uh, that we are given, take out uh, take the output voltage to be what to be fifty volts. Given an output uh, voltage of what of uh, fifty volts, and the capacitance being what. So when we're now being a simple capacitor filter. It means we are just having something like this. That is what we have. We are no longer having the, 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 the normal part that we are having here of uh, uh, an L section. We are back to the normal part where we had a shunt. Remember when we talked of a shunt? What was the consideration that we had on a shunt? It was a capacitor in parallel to the resistor. A capacitor in parallel to, to the resistance. And for the formulas, guys, there are, I talked about uh, a lot of formulas that we can actually consider. But if you still remember, there we have got uh, formulas such as this when we are calculating uh, the ripple. Remember, we are on the output ripple factor. The output ripple factor. We had a formula which was given as R is equal to 1 over 2 square root of 3 FC RL, uh, which was for a half wave. And R is equal to 1 over 4 square root of 3 FC RL, if you still remember, which was for a full wave rectifier connection. And we also consider that at 50 hertz, we can also consider a special formula there at 50 hertz, which you can also use. There's, there's up to you, but the basic formula that I want you to understand are these ones. Remember, because I'm saying, these guys, they are saying we are back to a normal, a simple capacitor field, a simple, which means the inductor is no longer applicable. What type of a connection are we using? We are working with a full wave rectifier. So in this case, we are going to work with a full wave. So I'm going to remove this. So working with a full wave, that was going to be the formula to be applied because the, we are now back to the normal, the basic. What is referred to as a basic filter, guys, is your shunt capacitor filter where this capacitor and the resistor are connected in parallel. I explained about that. So meaning to say there, our arrow was going to be what? All right. They, they gave us, the currents in that case, okay, they gave us the currents. So meaning to say in this case, you will be limited because of what of the current, guys. Uh, all right, uh, the load resistor. Now we are no longer having this load resistor. Uh, let's consider having the current, okay? What can be our formula when having the current? Uh, remember, this can also be given as because there we are no longer having this. Uh, we're going to take it like this. 
we have in current is going to be IDC over 4 square root of 3 times the frequency capacitance uh, VDC like this. So that is what we are going to end up with at the end. Guys, this is it here. We are not having the, the current. We are not having uh, the, the resistance in that case, the R load. We can calculate it. Remember, our formula was like this. Because someone might have confusion here. 4 square root of 3, FC, uh, RL like that. There is a voltage because this is the output. That's your VDC. So you can actually calculate your R in this case. Your RL is equal to what? VDC over what? Over the current IDC, which are these currents that you are given, the load currents IDC. So this is one formula, guys. Yeah, this is one formula. If you check here, IDC over VDC like this. This is one over RL. One over this. One over this. It gives you the this formula. It's one form. This one is just one. This one. Written in different ways. It's one formula that we are seeing there. So it was up to you. Are you going to calculate your RL from this formula? Then you use it here as RL. So meaning to say you are going to calculate for each. Why am I saying for each? There are two currents there. So you calculate your RL from the 50 milliamps from the 150. Then you substitute here. You are going to have the same answers. All right, but in this case, I'm going to use this one since we have got uh, these values direct, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this one. So R is equal to IDC, which is, let's start with them. When IDC is equal to 50 milliamps. Okay, so let's substitute and see what you're going to have in that case. So it is going to be 50 milliamps. Uh, everything over 4 square root of 3. So the 4 there is for a full wave, okay? Times the frequency. Remember, your frequency was 50 hertz. Uh, the capacitance, uh, we are given now to take a capacitance of what? 8 microfarad. So that's 8 times 10 to the exponent of negative 6 times the VDC, which is 50 in that case. And also take note, uh, on the simplification, we have the capacitance to use this time, the capacitor filter is eight, not 10. So take note there, it is supposed to be corrected there. It's supposed to be eight, not 10, because we have, we are given to be using this as what? As eight, not as 10. So that was going to give us our ripple factor there at the end, uh, which was going to be 0, 0.361. So like I said, I want you to prove with this one, you calculate your RL, then you put your RL there. You're going to have the same answer. So as we can see, this was when the current is 50 milliamps, but we also have when this same current, when this same IDC is now at uh, 150 milliamps, what was going to be our ripple factor? It was just going to be IDC, 150 times 10 to the exponent of negative three over four, square root of three times the frequency, everything is not going to change. Yes, just going to remain as it is. The capacitance we are given now to consider at eight microfarad. Uh, then our VDC, remember it was 50. The only part that we are changing is the IDC in that case. That was going to give us 1,083. That was 1,083. So we must be careful. They are saying we must take this back to a simple capacitor filter of eight, not of 10. So on the calculations from this book, they used 10 instead, which is wrong. They are supposed to have what? An 8 there. So it's just have to be corrected. I don't know whether they wanted to have a 10 here. So you must correct that part, okay? Uh, you must correct that part to 8. You use the capacitance value that you are given at that condition. It's a condition that, that you are having there. Okay, so this is how our questions might be given. Uh, so let's try as many questions as we can. So please do work out uh, as many questions which can be very helpful in your revisions.